Columbus losers of two in a row, three of their last four, uh, are now out of the playoff picture. I'll tell you why I don't like that. And normally I don't have a rooting interest in anything. I put the pom-poms away a long time ago. I just want to watch a good hockey game. But there are teams at times that I really cheer for. And right now I'm cheering for Columbus. And here's why. We live in an era in the NHL where two things happen. One, teams are very conservative with making moves. And two, teams tend to ape whatever happens before. It's a mimic league. You'll do what has ever been successful before. Okay, it worked for them. Let's do that. I really want Columbus to succeed now more so than ever because they pushed all the chips in the middle. So we're going to lose Panarin. We're going to lose Bobrovsky. Probably going to lose to Shane. We know we're going to lose a lot of these guys, but we're going for it. We're saying there's no tomorrow. We're going for it now. As someone, as a observer that doesn't have an allegiance to any team, I love that. And I wish more teams would do that. I, I can see that. I can see what you're talking about. And people do like action. And you keep in mind, you know, David Poyle got a lot of credit about bringing back the big trades, but the first one was with Columbus. They got Seth Jones for Ryan Johansson. And, yep. you know, Yarman Kekalainen is kind of a lower key general manager, but he's been unafraid to make some big splashes. Pierre-Luc Dubois, that was, that was a gutsy Huge. draft pick when everyone else was telling them to pick somebody else. They went against the, they went against public opinion yeah. and, and got a great one in third overall. And, and I'm with you about, you know, you're, you're sending a message to the team and to the fans. It was such a heartbreaking way that they got eliminated last year. They were so close to yep. upsetting the eventual Stanley Cup champions early on. And, uh, yeah, I, I like that they're all in. But, again, the adjustment period's a little bit tough. That Saturday one, boy, 4 nothing shutout at home to Edmonton. That's the one that really hurts for now. But you got to get over the hurt. You still control your own destiny, theoretically. Like the both of you, I, I mean, I love that they pushed all their chips in. And I hate to see anything happen that's going to be bad to this team. But the thing that catches me off guard is that 4 nothing loss to Edmonton the other night. I'm watching this game, and I'm thinking, where's the effort? Where's the drive to get into the playoffs? Like, uh, is this chemistry going to be able to come together before, you know, so they can make the playoffs? That's and a lot of new faces. It's a lot team. of new faces. And my question isn't goaltending. My question is not defense or forwards. Is John Tortorella. Can he get this group together fast enough to make the playoffs? 